Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi, my name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. Today's pick a card reading is all about what messages do you need to hear right now. This is a timeless reading, so whenever this video gets to you is when you were meant to hear this message. This is a general reading, so take what does resonate with you and know that there's a message in here somewhere for you. That being said, if you've not been to a pick a card reading before, all I ask you to do is to get into a calm, quiet space, take a few big deep breaths, and really let your intuition pick the pile or piles in front of you. That way the message will resonate with you a lot clearer. Alrighty, so our groups here will be time stamped down into the description box below as well as in the pinned comments by me and that way you can skip ahead to your particular group. So group number one here is the Rose Quartz. Group number one. Group number two is going to be the Aquamarine. So group number two. And then group number three is going to be the Amethyst. So group number three, if you need to pause this video to meditate on the cards, you can go ahead and do that now. If not, I will see you in your particular group. Hello, my group number ones. Those of you who chose the rose quartz, we're going to see what message you need to hear right now. Okay. First, we're going to start with your star child tarot, and then we're going to go into the beautiful uh, oracle cards here. Okay. First step, we have the Devil card. Fear not. Let's see what's going on. Ah, we have the Sun. Beautiful. I told you not to fear not. Okay, and then we have, look at that, the world. Okay. I feel a lot of heaviness with this. Um, especially when it says oppression. The devil card is literally about attachments and feeling like um, you're, you're chained to something that, you know, you are, uh, you are oppressed in a sense. Um, we're talking habits, we're talking um, relationships, we're talking things that are not for your highest good. And so with all of these cards on the table right now, I'm feeling like this message that you are receiving or you need to hear is that you're in the process of breaking these chains. You are in the process of cutting yourself away from people, places, and things that do not serve your highest good anymore. So whether it is really difficult situations, because this is going to hit differently for each and every one of you, and you know exactly what you're breaking free from, by the way. Um, whether it is a just a job that was negative and awful and th making you feel like you were less than, or it was a relationship, friendship or significant other, family relationships. There's a lot going on in the world if you are viewing this when I f upload. There's a lot going on right now and I feel this heavy, heavy, heavy weight. And so what I'm trying to get at is this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. It may feel messy. It may feel chaotic. You may be going through a lot of emotional up and downs right now, but just know the message that I'm getting here is quite beautiful. You are breaking free. You are literally breaking free. And the reason that you are going, you're feeling all of this turmoil and you were feeling all of this um, emotional stress, we'll say, is because just like this person here, you've kind of been shrouded. You've kind of been blind to how you were treated and how you were um, being perceived by this person or this situation. And now you're lifting the veil and you're seeing what you really are and what you're worth and what you're capable of. And that these people or things are such a lower vibrational thing to what you are vibrating at. You are, uh, <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. You can't see, but I'm getting goosebumps. Um, you are rising above and you cannot possibly take your lower vibrational, and I'll call them captors, along with you for the ride. Sometimes we have to 
let go of certain people, certain things in our lives in order to break free and become and move forward to bigger and better things for us. Sometimes that hurts and sometimes it's really emotional and really um, traumatic and painful, but you are progressing. You are moving on and doing beautiful, better things for not only yourself, but for other people. And you will be an example for others. Okay. Um, Some people are looking to you as well to break these generational curses, these things that, uh, you know, have been down in the line, this karmatic, karmic situation that has been building up for generations. And people are going to look with look to you and look at what is going on with you and know that they can do that too. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, this is a general reading. So take what resonates. Like I said before, you're going to know what this is, what I'm talking about. But again, it's going to be different for each and every person. What, how I know that this isn't somebody that has a thing over you or, you know, anything like that. It's because of these two other cards. Um, we're not talking about, you know, uh, just little things here. We're talking about like, you are moving on to like the most successful time in your life right now because you have the sun and then the world. Okay. Amazing. The sun, this is the card that beats all other cards that when you put this card next to it, it could be the most positive card that you think you have in the deck. You put this card right next to it. It boom, way, way positive energy with this. This is success, happiness, abundance. You are going to be breaking free from things that have held you back from receiving, from feeling like you could receive this energy and abundance and happiness. You are lifting the veil and moving toward happiness, abundance, success. Okay. So say that you were in this job because you thought you couldn't, you know, get another one at the at the right time, or you're just doing this because it pays the bills, but you hate it. It's soul crushing. It's just, you know, you hate everything about it. You don't like your coworkers, your boss is over dramatic or whatever the case may be. You finally start feeling like you can do better, that you are better, that all of these little things add up and build to you just, you can't take it anymore. That's what's going on. You're breaking free of those chains because there's something better for you. Those people are killing your vibrations and bringing you down to their level. You need to get away from that. You need to rise above. You're better than that. And that's what this tells me. You're moving on to bigger and better and more beautiful things. And I feel like this is such a beautiful message. And I feel like sometimes we get too bogged down in our negative thinking and our um, negative self-talk that we don't feel like we deserve the world when we do. And you literally have the world right here. This is ending of cycles. You're about to begin a brand new, fresh start. And you cannot begin this brand new, fresh start if you're holding on to people and things that are literally chaining you back. You have to be able to break those chains. And sometimes it's hard. It's so hard to let go and release. But abundance and success are right here, honey. Like they are right there for you. If you do the work, you're going to get rewarded. The end of cycles. This is success. This is you starting fresh. And if you can see here, that shroud is very, very sheer now. You can see. You can see where you want to go and what you want to do now. You literally have the world at your feet. This is beautiful. Okay. I have a feeling this we're, we're going to be getting more and more. This is going to be a long <laughs> group. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. We have, this is the star seed. We have trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Okay. Then we have lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. Okay. So 
apparently you have been pulled back and chained back before. You've been through struggles is basically what this is saying. You've been through struggles and you got through them. You can get through this one too. You're already doing it. Okay. And then we have earth school, life lessons, soul growth study higher learning. So your soul is literally moving forward. These are these life lessons that when we incarnate on earth that we are learning, we are going through, we are dealing with these karmic lessons that we have to learn, that we were put on this earth to learn. And sometimes these lessons are tough and hard and emotionally doxing, but we came here to learn certain things and sometimes those lessons are hard to learn, but you're going to continually get these lessons and go through these, um, go through these events until you learn from them. Okay. That sounded kind of rough, but that's not how I meant it. Um, but like for me, um, I was constantly going through the same kind of hard event until I kind of woke up and was like, okay, I keep doing the same thing. Like something's got to change. And once I started recognizing my behaviors or my patterns, I was like, oh, life kind of turned around. So that's kind of what I'm going, what I'm trying to uh, say with this. Okay. So then we have your work, your light oracle. We have play that comes in with the sun right there. Have fun, celebrate. Don't be too serious. So you are going to have so much more time to have fun and celebrate with whatever you're breaking free from because you're going to start feeling like you again. You're going to start feeling your energy come back and that smile come across your face and it's just going to feel so much better. Oh, what a beautiful message here. I'm going to start tearing up. I like, ah, so great. So great to see. And then we have the crumbling. What are you clinging to? What are you clinging on to? Yeah. What are you clinging on to that is preventing you from going into this beautiful flowery space? Wait, hold on. There's a portal door thing there. There is a portal door thing here. Yeah, you are definitely on your way going to something bigger and better. That is beautiful. Yeah. Let all the darkness and the ick fall away from you. Let it crumble. You do not need it anymore. It is no longer serving your highest good. You do not need it. It's holding you back. I love it. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns. Healing. Rewriting the future. And again, there's another doorway. You're coming out and, oh, uh, I just, I love it. <laughs> You're healing. You're breaking the chains. This is amazing. I love it so much. All right. And then we have your Threads of Fate card here. Paradox. So I'm going to read you from this deck here. Paradox. This is... I love what this is saying. So 103. All right. This card is a reminder that we can hold two extremes at the same time. Sometimes we focus on things, whether intentional or internal or external, and see them as one-sided. But to hold the paradox within us requires strength. To see our most brilliant qualities and our most ugly, to acknowledge that they both live within us is a gateway to growth. Gateway. You have complete gateways all over here. The paradox is one of our most valuable spiritual possessions, Carl Jung said. And for anyone who does shadow work, they know this to be true. But this can also be difficult for many people. If we have been raised in a rigid environment where things are viewed as black and white, it may be hard for us to accept our flaws, let alone love them. One of the best ways to slowly enter relationship with the internal paradox is to remind ourselves that we did not create these things within us. We inherited them. Generational curses, generational chains. 
It does not define us, and yet we are responsible for it. To work more deeply with the paradox as you witness yourself throughout the day, identify what types of thoughts you have more of, positive or negative. I was just talking about the negative self-talk. From there, find the polar extreme. For example, maybe you thought, I'm so lazy. Acknowledge a couple things that make that true. Then find the polar opposite. For example, hardworking and acknowledge a few things or experiences that prove that you are hardworking. So again, shadow work will definitely help lighten the load and move you forward. Sometimes shadow work is really hard and emotionally depleting, but it's worth it. Um, it'll bring some things to the surface and maybe you can figure out exactly what um, you are internalizing that way. Um, that's basically what shadow work is. That's why it's called shadow work. It's the things that we push down and we don't want to acknowledge that live in the back of our minds in those deep recesses that sometimes when we do the work and make them pull forward to the forefront of our mind, we create some uh, emotional issues and we have a hard time and it gets uh, messy and it gets crazy, but it's so worth it because you're working through and you're breaking those chains. So some of you were dealing with really deep rooted uh, things. <laughs> I'm going to call them that deep rooted things, generational things, things that you've internalized for a long time. Other people here, your message is just simply people, places, and things. Okay. So take what resonates. All right. And last Oracle cards, we have your essential oil cards here. We have acceptance. I open my heart to heal and release. I open myself to the peace of divine love and grace. Oh my gosh. And then we have innocence. Let the burdens of responsibility go in this moment and look at your world with the eyes of a child. Okay. And now everyone wants to do their yard work. I do apologize. And then we have unity. You are strengthening the connection between your energetic and physical bodies to help you manifest your goals and sovereignty. Now you must claim your energetic independence. Cut the cords to lower vibrations. It's time to ascend. Oh my gosh. I love when all of the cards connect. I love it. Okay. And then we have some let go cards here. We couldn't know paradise if flowers refuse to release their fragrance. Give your gifts freely. Accept you don't lack for anything. The whole world belongs to you and let go of yesterday as what you do right now is more important amazing okay one last thing that i'm going to do here is pull from the lantern or oracle for you so for my group ones is there a message for my group ones message for my group ones. My rings are falling off. Sharing. There is giving and receiving and receiving and giving. Key to intimacy. Intimate love is a core need to be met in relation to ourselves and those closest to us. The journey to intimacy often includes learning what love is not. Wishful expectations. Acknowledge the smoke and mirrors in your life for what they are. And circles. Clarity begins in the eye of the storm. All right. Take those messages how you want to take them. The message overall here is you're breaking free and it may feel chaotic and harsh and you may be going through some things right now, but just focus on the fact that you are now moving forward to abundance and to success and to start a new phase in your life. This is beautiful. 
I'm so excited and happy for you all. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you so much for your support. I love each and every one of you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. This, I'm sorry, I'm just overwhelmed with like, just all of this emotion. This is really beautiful. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already done so. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. Thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my group number twos, those of you who chose the aquamarine. If it looks darker, it is. Um, <laughs> as I'm filming, I had to wait for the construction and the craziness outside to finally uh, subside. So I'm back. <laughs> We're going to take a look at your Star Child Tarot first and then dive a little bit deeper with your Oracle cards. All right. First up, we've got the Six of Swords. Moons. I love it. Next, we have the Five of Wands. More moon energy coming through there. So um, follow your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Okay. I have a feeling a lot of you have uh, been going back and forth to see if you can really trust it and you need to trust it because this is a lot of moon energy here. And your last card, ooh, four of pentacles. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Have you guys been worried about your finances, about your job, about anything like that? Because the message that I'm getting loud and clear already is stop because things are coming through for you. Um, you are in a transition period with the six of swords here. Um, so you are turning away from things that do not serve your highest good. You are not looking back. You are moving forward, moving toward the thing that lights you up, the thing that's going to provide for you and the thing that's going to, um, ignite your passions. So, um, <laughs> I have a feeling that a lot of you already know what it is. And if you've been um, wondering if you should really take that leap of faith and it's going to be very competitive, but you already know what you're doing. You need to, you need to listen to your gut here. Um, this message is coming loud and clear. You're, you are on your way toward stability. You are on your way to fulfillment. You are on your way to putting down roots. You are not looking back. Like this is, <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps, but you can't tell. Okay. So whatever this uh, career path or business venture that most of you are looking at taking is going to be very competitive with this five of wands energy here. But that's not to say that it isn't worth it. Um, I used to, um, I am a cosmetologist. Uh, I used to do hair uh, for a living. One thing that we got taught in uh, cosmetology school was like the amazing opportunity that competition is. Um, it's not that you aren't good enough. It's not that, um, you know, it, it co what competition does, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied because there's a lot going through my head, but you know, let's tell a story. <laughs> so what competition does is it, it makes you better yourself. It makes you work harder. It makes you focus on your own talents. It makes you, uh, it gives you that drive, right? Competition is never a bad thing. In fact, friendly competition is amazing. It pushes you farther than you thought you can go before. I like having uh, playful competitions. That's why board games are so much fun. That's why card games are so much fun. It makes you think a little bit faster, think a little bit harder, go a little bit further. So don't think of like your competition as a negative thing. Make it work toward your advantage. Use it to pick yourself back up again. Use it to push your drive forward. You already know you have talent. You already know you can do this. Stop doubting yourself. Stop putting walls in front of you and, uh, and you know making excuses for every little thing. Just because Sally can do what you do doesn't make you any less qualified or any less unique, okay? Um, I think that's one of the lies that we always tell ourselves is just because, you know, Nancy and uh, Katie and Sam all do the same thing you can do that you're not worth doing it 
it's not worth you doing it or you can't do it as well. Everybody is unique. Everybody has something different to bring to the table. There is enough abundance to go around in the world. Okay. So just because you think somebody else is doing it too, or somebody may be better that you might not succeed, that is a bold faced lie. All right. We need everybody to be unique. We need everybody to be themselves because you all bring something new and different to the table. There are uh, billions of people in this world. Of course, we're all going to share same interests and same capabilities, but you have that one thing that edges you out over everybody else, right? And you know what that is. Do not lie to yourself anymore, okay? Pick yourself back up. You got this. All right, so (laughs) that being said, you're going to be healing through this transition. You're going to start feeling like yourself again. I feel like a lot of you have left or are leaving positions that have made you feel like, you know, you weren't worthy of the position or they just, it was just a bad negative job, um, you know, uh, monotony. I'm getting a lot of monotony too, um, with a lot of this. So you're moving forward from that and it's going to be healing you in the process. I feel like sometimes when we have certain jobs that it just breaks your spirit down, like it's just, you deal with all of these, uh, crazy demands from customers, or you deal with just the, the insane amount of workload and you're not getting paid enough for it. And so it breaks your spirit down. Well, whatever you're moving toward, it is going to be fulfilling. It's going to bring you fulfillment. You're going to have a lot of people um, kind of putting their two cents in and kind of like mm, trying to stir the pot. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Stir the pot and maybe tell you, "Mm, do you really think you want to do that? Is that really something that you want to do? Or, you know, again, with the competition angle, like a lot of people are going for that same position. Do you really think that you have a chance? Don't listen to them. Listen to your intuition. I'm getting a lot of moon vibes here. Divine feminine energy. You need to listen to your gut. Move toward the light. Move toward things that are going to fill you up with passion, with drive, with determination. Things that are going to light you up. Because let me tell you, those people's opinions do not pay your bills. Those people's opinions do not uh, lift you up. Like, what are what are they to you? Like, they're, they're not paying your bills. They're not um, igniting your passions, right? So just take a few moments to breathe through it. You're going to be fine. Um, I know right now times are tough and times are crazy. Um, and sometimes we can't afford to be picky or choosy. But at the same time, I feel like you know in your gut what you want to do and where you want to go and you need to follow it because it's bringing you uh, fulfillment. It's going to be allowing you to put down roots. It's going to allow you to finally have that stability. With this four of pentacles here, um, this is a really good sign. Four is the number of stability. Four walls, okay? So if you were wondering if you can finally settle down or, you know, have enough money to feel secure, whatever you're working toward or, you know, transitioning into, it's going to be fulfilling. So for a lot of you, it's a job situation, a position, some form of uh, job application that you're applying to. And it's going to have a lot of people probably applying to it as well. Um, or this could be a very competitive field that you're going into. So for instance, I mentioned cosmetology. So there's always going to be a lot of competition when it comes to the beauty world. So take that as an example. Um, so whatever situation, business or position, you're going to be, um, inundated with competition, but you have something unique. You have something different and let it shine. Obviously, if you have a (laughs) a unprofessional side, don't let that side come out. I'm just kidding. I'm, you know what I mean? Um, you are unique and, um, 
there's a reason why these cards popped up. So let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper here because I have a feeling this is all about jobs. However, I can see a lot of this being about um, leaving uh, personal relationships, whether it's a friendship or um, a significant other and moving towards stability. Um, I can see that, but like that is like on the very, very, very minuscule side of it. I'm getting a lot of... Um, just job and finances. But for all of you concerned, this is going to be a time of healing. This is going to be a time of um, moving forward. And that is fantastic. Moving forward and stability. Keep those words in mind, okay? So let's take a look at first your Starseed Oracle. We have got Karmic Relationships, Orion Energy, Polarity, Soul Growth. We got Conflict. So you are transitioning, your soul is growing, your soul is moving toward things that f are fulfilling. So there's always going to be some form of conflict in that. When you when there's when you're growing, conflict arises. When your vibration gets raised higher, the lower vibrations need to fall away. They cannot go with you. If they don't want to rise up to your energy level, they're going to fall away. So you're, you may be losing some relationships here um, that, quite frankly, do not do you any good. Remember the Six of Swords here. This is you healing and you are moving on. You're not looking back. So uh, <laughs> this makes a lot of sense. And it may hurt and it may be something that is um, going to cause conflict. But if they don't meet your energy, if they don't meet your... Um, uh, level of fulfillment if this relationship is not on the same wavelength we'll say that you need to move forward so if they're not going to meet you then they gotta go right they there's no point trying to put energy into that all right then we've got i remember soul plan the faded life versus the destiny life so this is a plan this is for the greater good of your soul. This is a transition period. Okay. Let me just go ahead and find the book real fast because I want to make sure we're getting the correct information here for you. 76. Okay. All right. What are you being called to do? to surrender to your soul's plan. You're being invited to remember your soul's greater plan and to surrender to it. When you're confronted with a path that's undefined, it's normal for doubt and fear to rear its head. In fact, this is a certain sign that you're facing your soul's greater plan. Every hero in his in his or her life's journey comes eye to eye with doubt. The only way around it is through it. It's all part of the larger plan. Okay? And your last star seed, big picture thinking, Pallades energy, visionary inspired ideas. Like this is something you've been like passionate about for a while. And this is something that your soul feels so fulfilled to do. Like you're, you have a calling to do this. And, you know, sometimes we take the, the, um, the road that's going to provide us with the instant, um, the instant paycheck and, you know, to keep a roof over our heads and our uh, foods in our mouth. And now you have this opportunity to not only do that, but to feel fulfilled as well, to feel like your life has like it's whole again. And this is so amazing because you're going to feel so much more connected to yourself again. So not only are you going to be able to provide for yourself with this, um, uh, career path or with this position, you're going to feel fulfilled. You're going to wake up every day and be like, oh yeah, this, this is what I want to do. So let's move on with your work, your light Oracle. We've got Minnetonkan. I can never say these things right. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Okay. This one is interesting. This one. I can find it. 116. These these um, videos or, or groups, I'm sorry, are going to be a little bit longer on this particular one because there's a lot coming through. Group one was like 20 minutes long. 
Okay. Minnetonkins are a soul group who originated on a planet in the constellation Orion. All right. Many Minnetonkins have an odd longing for home and struggle with feeling like they don't belong. It is thought that this is due to their home planet no longer being in existence. If you pulled this card, it could mean that you are a Minnetonkin or are longing for a sense of belonging and root chakra healing is necessary for you to feel safe and secure. Perhaps you feel this longing to find home without knowing where that is. Perhaps you've been moving around a lot and yearn for a place on earth to call your own. What were we just talking about? If so, you're being called to connect with mother earth and create it for yourself. Now to choose where you feel most at home and create it rather than waiting for the feeling of belonging to come. Perfect. All right. Then we have the unfold, the ever unfolding rose cracked open is happening for you, not to you. Okay. This is all happening for you. This is meant to happen. You're moving on. You're transitioning. Things are going to change for the better. And your last work your light. We've got keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside. So you're being protected and you're being divinely guided to this. Um, I feel a lot of, uh, like spirit guide angel energy here, especially with this keepers of the earth. Like I feel like this was definitely something that you needed to do things. You're being um, guided to a better uh, career path, job position or relationship here. This is really exciting. And then your threads of fate card here. Boundaries. Ooh, this is a neat one to have with this. Yes, create boundaries for people. Remember when I was saying not to, um, if your people aren't meeting your energy, let them go. People have a way of holding you back. And sometimes it takes hard lessons to realize that there's a lot of people out there that want nothing better than for you to fail because of jealousy, their low vibrational energies, that all of that. It's just, they want to see everyone else fail because they aren't winning. And you need to set boundaries for yourself, for relationships, um, whether it's family, friends, or coworkers, you need to set direct boundaries. Remember, no is a full sentence. And really think about where you want to spend your energy. Where do you want to be able to, um, to allow yourself to go? right? Let's just read real fast from this one because there's always a message. There's a lot of earth energy here too. So maybe there is something about your root chakra that you need to, um, look into. All righty. Boundaries can be a difficult thing to master. Most people are not raised with a firm understanding of healthy boundaries and either end up being closed off or allow themselves to be invaded. They become invading of others. It requires balance and knowing exactly what your needs are. This card asks you to check in with yourself and see where you live on the boundary spectrum. Do you have a healthy relationship with them? Do you struggle in communicating around them? Are there any patterns that continue to crop up around boundaries in your life? Okay. Boundaries are always a difficult thing to put up. However, they are always needed. All right. These are your essential oils. We have will. You are strong and capable with gratitude, optimism, and action manifest the life you desire. All right. Anchor. Oh, steady. Although things are shifting so quickly, be present and know this is part of a greater plan. Ah, I love when all of these cards make sense. <laughs> Ignite. Inspiration has arrived and will work you th or work through you as you move forward. Definitely moving forward. That six of swords energy. You are not looking back. And then we have resonance. You are being shown what is dissonant in your life. Allow the beliefs that are not serving you to fall away and be open to your bright future. Ah, I love it. And then we have awaken. Take time today to engage your senses and create the tension that has been dividing your head and heart is leaving. You are healing. 
You are figuring out what works for you. You are figuring out what fills, fulfills you and lights you up. And your last essential oil, we have empowered. You are ready to allow the energy from the divine and mother earth to fuel you as you fulfill your potential here. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, then your last um, little inspiration cards here are your let it go cards. We have your glass is always refillable. Flow like water instead of holding on to perceptions. Let go of all limitations. You are creating a goddess through living your life. Who is she? Who is she indeed? And last we have make real progress by pushing aside perfection and never looking back. Ah! I love it. Okay. All right. We're going to just see if there's any other message here with the lantern oracle. Any other messages for my group twos here? Sharing. Oh my gosh, group one got this one too. There is giving and receiving and receiving and giving. Let's see, any other messages for my group twos? Yep. Emptied. The ending and beginning lie at either side of the same door. There's a lot here. Weeping wound. You are not your wounds. Amen. Perspective. A calm and clear mind is free to see differently. Repair. <laughs> Making amends rather than fun times reveals a relationship's true constitution. Inner integration. There is peace, equilibrium, and fulfillment in integrating the inner wild with the taming and tempering effect life has on us. Broken dreams. Only you can accept or reject your dreams. And the last one, women supporting women. I love this card so much. Together we can transcend our individual limitations. Find your people, okay? You have people around you that love you, that want to see you succeed and want to be there to help lift you up. Okay. If you ever need support, if you need a, um, positive word or empowerment, ask me, I will always be there to be your cheerleader. Okay. So this is really exciting and I'm really happy for you. You're moving forward. You're moving on to things that are going to fulfill you and create stability. Be aware of the competition around you, but do not let it uh, take over. Don't let it worry you, okay? You are being guided to do what fills you up, okay? <laughs> Hopefully this makes sense, and if it resonated with you, let me know down in the comment section what group you chose, okay? And as always, <coughs> excuse me, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the fact that you take time and, you know, spend it with me. <laughs> And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my group number threes. Those of you who chose the amethyst, we're going to take a look at what message you need to hear right now through the Star Child Tarot first. And then we'll dive a little bit deeper with your oracle cards. <clears throat> Alrighty. First up, Queen of Swords. Next we have Ace of Swords, okay. And finally, oh, Ace of Pentacles, okay. So I just have to ask, are you an air sign or do you have an, a lot of air in your birth chart? Because there's a lot of air going on here. Um, however, this Queen of Swords here uh, tells me you're very independent and you're very logical. Sometimes your logic overtakes your emotions. Um, you could very well be overthinking something right now. And I think that has to do with um, this opportunity that's going to be presenting itself or already has presented itself. With this Ace of Swords here, this is about finding clarity and figuring out um, your options, basically because there's going to be new beginnings here. This is the start of something as well as this is the start of something. Um, 
your thoughts are going to become clearer. I feel like there's a decision here that you need to kind of make and you might be overthinking it. So um, the Queen of Swords, the imagery here, there's two swords and kind of like I look like, I feel like these are chakras. <clears throat> but anyway, um, normally this card isn't usually about making decisions, but I feel like with the imagery here, this is what I'm picking up. So again, take what resonates with you. But I feel like you guys are having to make a decision. And I have a feeling it has to do with a job just because of the cards here. Take the time to research, take the time to um, ask the correct questions um, because I feel like that's really important. Um, don't overthink your talent and your skills, but think and research and ask questions about the job itself if that's what is making sense. So um, for instance, I'm getting a lot about an interview. So if you're sitting down with in this interview, make sure you have questions already in the back of your mind or written down if that if it's that kind of interview to where you ask them. Because again, with an interview, with a job interview, it's not always about them interviewing you. It's also about you interviewing them. Why do you want this job? What is its benefits to you? That sort of a thing. Ask really good questions. I feel like that is something coming through very strongly. I don't know why, but <laughs> somebody out there needed to hear it. But you're very logical and you're very independent. And I feel like this opportunity that's going to come to you, there's a decision that you need to make. And whatever this decision that you make is, you know what it is, you have newfound clarity on it, and it's going to be a very prosperous opportunity coming your way. The Ace of Pentacles is a, is it talk about a position, a new position, a bonus, new money coming in, just something to do with a new beginning with money. So it could even be that you find a, uh, a quarter in your pocket that you forgot was there. But either way, there's an opportunity here for money to be made um, for, for a bonus for new money coming in for you. But all around, this is a brand new beginning for you. Newfound clarity, new ideas. And okay, there you have really, really good ideas. And they're going to benefit you with this uh, opportunity here. So um, when and when you get hired, because we don't say if anymore, right? When you get hired or when you take this position, you are going to be an asset to those people. You are going to bring them and yourself prosperity because you have these brilliant ideas. You can think on your feet, you're quick witted, and you're going to be an asset. So remember when you do these job op job interviews that you bring a lot to the table. What are they going to do to keep you kind of a thing? What benefits can they give you? So make sure you have everything handy. Like what, what can you show off? What can you um, give them a little taste of? I don't know why all of this uh, job energy is coming forward, but that's what's coming forward here. So I'm sorry if this isn't resonating, but like this is, <laughs> this is what I see. Um, but for all of you in general, there's a brand new clarity happening. Um, you're seeing things finally clear and you're going to have a very prosperous opportunity come your way. So let's dive a little bit deeper because there's a lot going on and um, I just kind of want to pinpoint a little bit more, maybe um, a little bit more uh, fine tune it because this could be a lot of things. All right, we're going to start with your star seed. Oh, you got four star seeds. Okay, portal. Oh, this is a good one. Doors are opening. You decide. What did I say? Okay, you, you have to make a decision, right? Rewards and a wild card. So this opportunity, like, again, I feel like you're going to have a lot of them. Pick and choose. Do your research. 
Okay, choose wisely. But you got to decide. You've got to make the decision. You're going to have a lot of options coming to you. This is exciting. Okay, next we have a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. So it's happening. Things are in the works. You might already have interviews set up. You might already have ideas being um, coming to fruition. All right, and then we have perspective. I love this card. None of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. So what this tells me is look at everything through a different perspective. And what this also tells me is what I've been telling you is like, you're just as good as them. Like, don't be nervous. Don't overthink things. Just look at it from a new perspective. Okay. Look at your opportunities with a new perspective as well. And your last star seed, baby steps, action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Okay. Again, with the doors, this is another portal. It looks like the exact same inside there. Yeah. Doors are opening for you. I don't know what is going on, but you are talented. You have something that people want and they, the, just the doors are just going to keep opening for you. Okay. So again, do your research, make sure you, um, like if this is a new company that you're interviewing for that you're not really sure if you want to work for, dig some information up, okay? Really make sure that their morals and their values fit your morals and values, okay? For instance, let's just say Target, you know, who, <laughs> what are their moral grounds? What are their, you know, I, I don't know. I'm spitballing here <laughs> with, with what's going through my head. Just make sure that you're... Um, you're aligning your morals and your standards with a company or a position that um, follows it or is congruent, okay? All right, we're gonna look at work your light. We've got another doorway. Oh my gosh, the initiation, rite of pas passing and crossing the, th the threshold. So yeah, you've may, you may have been going through some ick. You may have been dealing with some icky jobs. You may be dealing with some icky interviews, but this is helping you get to the other side. You're awful. Like, so say you've already been to like three interviews and you didn't get any of them. Okay, take what you learned from that. What, what questions can you um, use to your advantage? What... Did you learn from those interviews? Maybe you can do something different. Do your research, okay? But it's all for a reason. It's all to get you here. All right, then we have Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Divinely guided. These opportunities are being just... Even she has her arms spread out. Like, here you go. Like, <laughs> ah, this is so exciting. And then we have don't dim to fit in. I love this card so much. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? You have something unique to bring to the table. This is kind of like my group number twos. If you um, did not watch group number two yet, maybe piggyback with that energy. Maybe that's what's coming up, but like, or maybe you came from group number two as well, but do you are unique. Okay. There's a reason why you, what do I want to say? If we were all the same, life would be boring just because you may do the same thing as Jack, Sally and Ryan over there. Doesn't mean that you don't bring something new to it. Okay. What makes you unique? What makes you light up? What makes you different? Bring that to the table. Obviously, don't be cussing up a storm or any of that in the interview. Or, if, <laughs> But like, bring your unique, be you. When I do interviews, I'm so nervous and everybody in my family just tells me, just be you. People love you. You have a great personality. And I say, okay, thanks, but I'm <laughs> still nervous. <laughs> But be you. You are unique. You are amazing. And people will appreciate that. Okay. If you have a wonderful personality, bring it out. Don't be so, you know, stern or whatever. Um, again, you are you. 
And again, this has been divinely guided. You have people looking after you for this and doors are just going to open up for you. Wow. Okay. And then we have your threads of fate. And this is surrender. Okay. Again, I feel like a lot of you overthink it. And let me just read you the passage from here because I feel like that needs to be read. All right. Surrender. Go with the flow is what I'm hearing. We often hear the word surrender being thrown around in intentional communities and rightfully so. This is one of the primary lessons we on earth are here to learn. It is also one of the most challenging. To surrender is to have our human nature take a back seat. This is not easy and we can find ourselves saying, I know how I should look at this, but we struggle when it comes to actually embodying it and putting it into practice. Okay, remember when I was saying you guys are overthinking things too? Okay. This is not easy and we can find ourselves saying, I know, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> When we are working with larger concepts, it is important to break it down. Remember the, rather than embracing surrender like a mantra, enter into a dialogue with it. What does it mean? What does it look like? If you were to surrender, how would you feel? How would you move through life? How would you, your heart, soul, mind, and body feel? With the situation at hand, how would you engage differently? What are small things you can do daily that hold a container for surrender? Consider journaling around these questions and sit with what this card means for you and how you can integrate it. Okay. So I'm getting like a lot of go with the flow. I'm getting a lot of stop overthinking things with this card. Just do make sure you do your research and understand that, you know, it's okay to n do that, but don't over am I good enough? Am I that like that negative self-talk? That's what I mean by overthinking. Like that negative stuff, like I'm not good enough. They're never going to get me or they're never going to um, pick me. They're never going to hire me. They're never going to want me. Stop. Just surrender. Let it happen. Things are opening up for you. Things are going to happen. So again, I use a lot of this job and interview uh, speak because that's the majority of what's coming through. But you know exactly what this is. Um, so it could be you starting your own business. It could be you doing a completely new career path, but I'm getting that you need to do research, but you also need to knock it off with that negative self-talk. Okay. Go with the flow because things are going to be opening up around you because of who you are. You're amazing and you're wonderful. And people are always going to want to hire you or want to be a part of whatever you're doing. So you just need to, um, stop. The negative self-talk easier said than done i know but it's going to it's going to happen for you <laughs> okay all right and then we have your essential oil cards divination Ooh, you are finding balance as you see what resonates and what does not with clear sight you are safe and protected aha clarity <laughs> All right, support. Take comfort and know that you are supported. Nurture your inner child and connect with the earth. So this is going to be very fulfilling. You're going to have people supporting you, um, people that are going to want to work with you and work for you. Then we have harmony. Give yourself space to decompress and take time to nurture your body, mind, and spirit. Allow emotions to surface and release, okay? Then we have integrate black pepper, allow the parts of yourself to hide, you hide to make themselves known. Don't dim your light in the light. You will see the wisdom they hold. Amazing. And then we have spirituality. It will be beneficial for you to spend time in quiet contemplation. You need to reflect within to find the answers you seek. And the last one, good fortune. Feel the joy you would have once you have reached your goals here and now. You will achieve your dreams fastest that way. All right. And then we have your inspirational cards, your let go cards. Overcome the desire to tame your wildness. Teach your mind to follow your heart. 
surrender to the pulse that moves you toward your creative destiny, a life of great purpose. All right. Pay close attention to your patterns and let go of those that are merely reactions to life. And then sip in air without rushing toward the future. The present is always worth enjoying. You guys, doors are opening for you. Doors are going to be opening a lot. Do your research. Take your time. Don't do the negative self-taught. You are an independent person. You are smart. You are wise. You're very logical. But sometimes that logical brain takes over everything else and you overthink, you overanalyze, okay? Uh, are, am I wearing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? It, do I look okay? Uh, do they want to hire me? Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Logically, what do you need to do? Research your opportunities. Make sure you read the fine print. Make sure that if you have to sign anything, um, any contracts that you overlook it, um, but there's going to be a lot of decisions to make here. I don't know why everything moved. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of decisions here, but just know that you're qualified. Doors are going to be open for you. Okay. It's already happening. It's already in motion. You've applied to places or you've talked to people that want to be, um, engaging with you. Okay. All right. I'm just going to pull from your lantern oracle here. Group three, any other messages for my group three? Woo. Creative power, release your alchemical energy into the world. Beautiful, I love this card. Okay. Intention. Lacking personal direction begets confusion and life as a pawn to someone else's game of chess. Set your intentions. What do you want out of this job or this career path? And eternal gate gatekeeper. <laughs> Acknowledge, assert, and protect what is right for you. Amazing. I'm so excited for you guys. This is really, there's a lot of information here. There's a lot, but Take what resonates and know that doors are opening up for you. You're finding new clarity and things are going to start looking up for you financially as well. There's opportunities here. Just don't overthink every single one. Don't do your negative self-talk. You are smart, independent, and amazing. Okay. You are unique. Do not ever dim your light for somebody else. <laughs> All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. Let me know what group you chose down in the comment section and if it resonated with you. Um, I love hearing from everyone. It's so much fun. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. Again, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you're doing amazing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.